Yes, uh, G, hope you guys are all doing super well. Today is Friday, May 11th, 2018. Two days left until Mother's Day, so right now I want you to pause the video, go up to your mom and tell her, David Parody says I love you. And record it and then tweet it to me, at David Parody on Twitter. I'm gonna retweet your videos because I think it'll be a funny reaction seeing all your moms just be like, who? What? Who loves me? I feel like mothers are underappreciated out there, so they don't need just your love, they need my love. And by the way, I wanna quickly update the giveaway I was hosting on my Instagram. If you saw it, then you know what I'm talking about. If you didn't, well then, you're definitely confused. I've selected the 20 lucky Parodians to receive a Munch Pack for free. So check your email. If Munch Pack emailed you, congratulations, you won. But guess what? Today, I don't have a special video for you. I have a zoot video for you. I'm gonna be taste testing a chocolate pizza. Who the hell thought this would be a good idea? I mean, it does look a little naughty. Yo, shout out to Dr. Otker Ristorante for creating this pizza. Sioko, Sioko, Kalaklo. Pizza Sioko, Kalaklo. Whenever I hear the word pizza, I think about a thin, crispy crust with some nice, zesty tomato sauce. Extra tomato sauce, actually, because I love my pizza saucy. Some cheese, some Brooklyn-style pepperoni because it tastes way better than regular pepperoni. Not chocolate chips melted with, what is that? Is that marshmallows? Even the crust. Is chocolate. But the second I saw this, I knew I had to try it for you guys, and I, I just need to see if it's a hit or miss. But not only am I gonna try this chocolate pizza, I am going to try to create my own. Because don't ever disrespect Chef Dave. Just because you can make a chocolate pizza doesn't mean I can't make a better one. So as you can see, I went to the store and we're gonna do just that. I got myself the pizza bread right here. This time around, I'm not making the pizza crust from scratch uh, because from my earlier video, we all know how that turned out. This is, this is kind of hard here. Hold on. Oh, oh my, my god. god, oh my god, oh my god, what's going on? It's a commitment thing here. Here we go, one, two, three. What the hell? What'd you do? I got a sugar-free Red Bull because I'm on a f diet we also have a Cadbury how do you guys say this is it caramel or caramel this is one of my favorite chocolate bars growing up that chocolate just tastes amazing and then when you bite into it that oozing caramel just drips down your throat and into your ass oh it's just such a vab so we got that also my top three candies but this isn't just the regular like cute ones these are crunchers oh <laughs> naughty you got your classic cooking cream chocolate that everyone loves but this time it's mixed with great Gray ham cookie. I don't know what a gray ham cookie is, but it sounds amazing. And my next thing I got is just a prime example of why I should be the new Dr. Otker. Because look at this. Where is the chocolate drizzle? Every good pizza needs a drizzle. I'm drizzling it with hot fudge. And then next we have our base of the pizza, and we're obviously using Nutella, okay? Like they probably use Nutella, we're gonna use Nutella too. This isn't copying Dr. Otker. It's just what else can I actually use? I'm not gonna just melt chocolate and last but not least I got Cadbury fingers bro this is basically gonna act as the bacon strips of the pizza and we're also bringing back the infamous pizza oven if you haven't seen this video you can click right here to watch it where we test this gadget it's amazing I love it I use it almost every week and then we're gonna do a taste test between both of them should you try to make your own chocolate pizza or just buy the ristorante pizza siocolato and by the way here it is it's milk chocolate flakes so it's probably this stuff and white and dark chocolate chips you know it's pretty simple it's nothing like mine I'm telling you everyone needs this pizza oven in their life let's do our test like just wet your hand bring it over and if it starts steaming look how hot it is bruh how does this look oh wait 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 why is this not frozen like, it's been in the freezer what the heck and by the way quick question doesn't eating melted chocolate give you massive diarrhea? I think it does. If I leave this on for 10 minutes, it's gonna be burnt. Let's slide it on and let the pizza start cooking. Like, what does it need to do? Bruh, it's instantly melting. Okay, I have to say something right off the bat. Even if you don't believe in this, and you think chocolate pizza should never be a thing, I think you should buy it just for the aroma, bro. The smell coming off this is heavenly. Holy, I'm not gonna lie, this does look like food porn, so let me hit you with a nice time lapse in three, two, one.
Guys, it's been like three minutes and look at this. The chocolate is like hardening. I think it might be on the verge of burning. So we're gonna turn the pizza oven off for now. I think the only thing we have to worry about is the crust because look at that. It's like bubbling. Isn't if chocolate bubbles, it's burning? And I'm not gonna lie, it looked way better before I put it on the oven. Now it kind of looks like someone took a shit on this pizza. We're gonna let this one cool down. Oh my god, it actually just looks fully burnt. Now we're gonna work on Big Dick Dave's chocolate pizza. We already know this one's gonna taste better and even look better. I feel like the only thing that one has on mine is their bread is actually, I think it might be chocolate. So the first thing we're doing is putting our base, which is gonna be the Nutella, and I'm gonna try to make this just like any regular pizza. Come on. Oh, that's a good scoop. Just like when you make a regular pizza, you want to just swirl it out to the edge. And that should just really spread the Nutella everywhere around the, the crust. You want to do circle motions. Okay, why is it taking so long? What the hell? It shouldn't take this long. Do people really? Oh, sh just keep doing it and boom! There you go. You got yourself a nice covered Nutella based pizza even got room for the crust there they played themselves like where am I supposed to put my fingers without it getting dirty with chocolate I'm just thinking ahead of the game I could still pick it up and my fingers are clean and if you don't do this when you're making chocolate pizza you're off <coughs> oh my god I didn't think it would go that deep uh -huh. mm. If you don't do that, you're not nafty. Next up, we're putting the cheese on. You know, I thought this was the uh, bacon crumble, but it's actually the cheese. And it's absolutely one of my pet peeves when pizza places do not put enough cheese. So be generous with it, guys. Just load it all in there. The whole bag. Look. Empty. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So tell me this doesn't look more appetizing than that. Next up, we are putting our Brooklyn pepperoni on top. Nothing worse than a slice of pizza that doesn't have a pepperoni on it. We're adding the bacon strips. We got the Cadbury fingers here. Look at that. And don't you worry about the drizzle. We're gonna put it on the pizza oven first. And then when it's all good and ready, that's the final touch. It's now been like three minutes, and honestly, guys, it looks not bad, not bad. Look at these cookie and cream clusters. That's a melting exactly how cheese would melt. The bread, I do not think it's cooked yet, so we're gonna have to leave it on for like five more minutes. And here is a side-by-side -side comparison between the store-bought chocolate pizza and my chocolate pizza. It is now time for the money shot, guys. I got the hot fudge right here, and we are just gonna drizzle it on this pizza. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, it's so thick. No, 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 it's too thick, it's too thick. Why isn't it drizzling up? Oh my god, it's too much. All right, it's not a food porn shot, it is freaking diabetes. That was a mistake. It is taste test time, and look at the piece I cut. I cut like in between a caramel. Look at it just oozing. That first bite is gonna be delicious. This looks like some high school lunch food, and this looks like freaking five-star restaurant, freaking Michelin star looking ass. Here we go. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. If it tastes like dookie, I'm gonna let you guys no. I get it. Alright. I gotta admit, the chocolate's good. But, the crust is oh, It's like a, not wet, but it's just like a, a sponge. It doesn't taste like I'm biting into pizza. It tastes like I'm biting into this with chocolate on the top of it. But it is edible. Like, I could fully eat two slices and then I would call it quits. It's like a try it once in your life type of thing. Like, not a once every week, once every month. No, you try it once and then you're good until the day you die. So out of 10, I would have to rate that a nice solid Three and a half. But, moving on to my DIY chocolate pizza. Mmm. Look at that. Look at that. Mmm. Bro. Listen to the crunch. Mmm. Mine is a vibe. It's way better than the store-bought one. And the cookie and cream clusters actually make a huge difference. And I can guarantee you that if you're a sweet tooth person, this will satisfy your craving. This, on the other hand, uh, I say nay nay. I'll give my pizza a nice 7.5 out of 10. But thank you guys for watching today's Zooked video. Remember to tell your mom that Big Dick Dave loves her and film it and show me on Twitter. Hope you guys all have an amazing weekend. But until next time, I will see you guys very soon. Hey! Oh,
She was from the outside, I was from the north She was from the south side, I looked in the mirror I said, man, I'm alright, little did I know I'd be crying all night Cause I was from the city I'm not here to do it, I'll do it, I'm not the 